here we get to the worst room in the dungeon. Oh boy. Some great, great camera angles. Oh boy. I loved this room. I love the design of it. I hate having to do things in it. Yes, agreed. And the way that the camera rotates sometimes is, makes it really easy to get lost. Mm. So I just need to get my bearings again. This is where we came in, so we want to follow this outer wall around. Because whenever you're in a maze like this, that's one of the best strategies to take. Just choose a wall and follow it. Here it paid off. And this is one of the meanest trap slash enemies in Ocarina of Time, I think. They're once you notice them, they're not that hard to actually mix up with a real door, but if you're not paying attention, that that can just get really annoying. Yep. We'll see one of those Drop later. Drop door. <laughs> So we head out of that little alcove and we'll keep heading around the edge, trying to avoid these boulders. That was a little close. Ooh. That was very close. Yeah, there's a lot of room here. Hmm. I believe there's another one. Yep, another bar on. Ooh, the walls in here are cool. Yep. I love the, the look of these little, these little tunnel areas. Not... Mm. One thing that I've wondered, by the way, this brings to mind, is what exactly the Fire Temple is meant to be as a place. The Forest Temple is pretty clear, it was a manor house, but this place, it's much more confusing to me. Well, my, um... Well, you've read the manga, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, my idea before I had read the manga was that Volvagia was kind of imprisoned in there. Mm. Kind of like um, the Minotaur in the Labyrinth kind of yeah. thing. Um, and that like with Ganondorf like coming in to fuck things up, um, he kind of just filled it with his minions and um, let Volvagia loose. Okay. I so I that. think... Yeah, because I think a lot of it had to do with, like, maybe that the Gorons had actually imprisoned Volvagia in there because they knew that Volvagia was, um, I guess a ter not a terror, but just a bad thing to interact with, you know? Hmm. Um, was he cause... killed? Was he, put, was he imprisoned? Though I thought he was killed by the Gorons, by the ancient hero that had the, the hammer that Link the Goron mentioned. Yeah, but... Um. Shit, do we get the the hammer in this in this one? Yep, this is the this is the one where you get that. It's been so long. Um. Then yes. Um. I think so. It could be that because Saint Ganondorf is such a powerful sorcerer, he resurrected Volvadia. I think that's what they say happened. Yeah. From like the bones. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it was just his body was imprisoned here. Yeah. Like, like a tomb. Like yeah. a mausoleum. I could see that. Yeah, because sometimes I think some kind of mining, but that doesn't make sense for a lot of the rooms here. Like, stuff like this. Mm. It's all Well, it, it could have been... It could have been that some areas were originally just used for mining, but then that they're like, shit, we got this dead dragon. 
let's just put the body oh, there. Oh, I, I see. So it was originally a mine, and then they built all this stuff? Yeah, because they're like, where else are we going to hide this body? Or alternatively, yeah. it might have been a temple to Volvagia. Oh, that's an idea. I didn't think about that. So like, the temple's now his grave. Not, uh, yeah. not super uncommon for like dragons to be like, hey, worship me. Yeah, oh my that's God. true. I could see that. And but, then the mines also then... make sense, because then the dragon wouldn't have people mine for it. But see, I, I don't know if I can agree with that, kind of, because that implies there's gods other than the three goddesses that created the world. Well, the, we already know that there's a few that get mentioned now and then in other Zelda games. Those are like the top tier, but there's it feels like there's a cosmology below them, that there are lesser gods of various types. Yeah, like like old gods. Like, like the Deku I, Tree. I, I, like I would, I would feel that the Deku Tree is not a god, though. No, Deku but it's like, a, like a it's a similarly spirit, like though. it's not a god. Yeah, but it's still like a a very like powerful like, and potentially like worshipable goddesses, like being. The goddesses don't even communicate directly with the Deku Tree. Yeah, like I don't mean that it was like the things that are mean? not things that are not <laughs> gods can be worshipped. Like plenty of people worship money. Oh, so you're saying not that Volvagia was a god, but just that Volvagia made people worship it as though it was a god? Yeah. Okay. Volvagia says, hey, this is my temple. If you worship me and build a giant, nice temple and mine out some gold for me, then I, I will eat you. you. Yeah. But, okay, okay. Um... No! <laughs> but I'm okay. gonna leave that till you see Volvagia in order to understand what... I'm kind of thinking here mm -hmm. because I think the traditional idea idea of a dragon doesn't fit in with the you know how Volvalja is in this game. Mm. This is a nice uh, Lord of the Rings, Mines of Moria. This giant room here, this yep. tunnel. Oh mm. fuck this place, yeah. <laughs> well, let's let's stab an eye while we're here. It's a good way to release tension, you know. Especially since once we're here, we finally get dungeon treasure that's really useful here. Hopefully, we'll stop making me fumble around quite as much. <laughs> Interesting little detail, by the way. If you look at the actual model for the dungeon map, it's actually the map of uh, Dodongo's Cavern. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, nice. a cool little thing. Mm. So let's get an idea of how this dungeon is. We're on the third floor right now, and we've gone through a good portion of it so far. But we're about halfway explored, looks like. So now we're going to head back to that very narrow room, and before we do something stupid, I'm going to remember that I actually have Roar's Wind. <laughs> and I'm just going to use it in this room. I completely forgot about this in Forest Tem in uh, the Forest Temple. It would have been very useful in spots. <laughs> Far Faror? Faror, I think is how you pronounce it. Damn it, thank you. I I've never known how to pronounce that. I'm not sure if that's right, but that's how I say it. Faror sounds a lot better than Faror. <laughs> Ooh, and here we get a really fun room. Mm. Okay. So we jump over. And here it goes. No way back. Not quite as simple as that. It's chasing us. Oh. Well dang. So it is. At quite a speed. Oh, <laughs> well, we made it. Friendly heart. It only hits the actual metal jumping sections, thankfully, but that's a nice little platforming challenge, especially if you aren't expecting it. It's easier if you are expecting it. 
but I've had so many troubles in this one in the past. <laughs> Yep. But now we're on top. Now. Just gotta not fall down. Believe in Link. I believe in Link. I believe in Link. Oh, bombable floor. Oh boy. Looks like you're right. Your very own Navi, Andy. Deep. Was a good landing though. Damn. <laughs> well, he didn't really need those shins. He just takes Definitely. it all on his uh, his heel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing he doesn't need, need them because if he was an actual person, there'd be earrings at the moment right now. <laughs> good, good thing that he's gonna die saving the world, so that's why he doesn't need them. Yeah. I mean, can yeah. you imagine being a hero? How fucked up your body would be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, there, there's at least like a dozen Batman panels just about that. <laughs> like, have you? Okay, if you see ballet dancers' toes, they're yeah, they get deformed in those fucking shoes. Yeah. So, like, imagine someone wearing boots <laughs> and like no arch support, nothing. Like, imagine how fucked up Link looks underneath his, <laughs> his clothes. No wonder he wears tights because you don't want to know. He has to you're, hold in all the blood. You're you're ruining it for. <laughs> For everyone who's who's got the husband do thing with Link. You ruined it! It's <laughs> all in the blood. Oh, God. <laughs> he uses it for circulation. <laughs> like jet fighters? The like, yeah, like yeah. jet fighter like treasures. <laughs> Alright, so this gives us a nice shortcut back in here, by the it's way. It's actually that was holding the... his organs in. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he has a belt as well. <laughs> Gotta keep them all in one place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that was the sad shaking ground before, so now we've got a nice shortcut to get back to the oh. maze room from there. Hmm. And to get back on top. This hurts me more than it hurts you, Link. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a couple Skullchlas that we are going to be missing here, by the way, because we don't quite yet have what we'll need to reach them. So that's something we'll see later. Oh, the torch slugs back. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of, like like imagine um, Mass Effect combined with Legend of Zelda. You can oh, improve awesome. your Link. We have the technology. <laughs> I'd love to see a Hyrule MMO. Yes. Hmm. There's Elder Scrolls Online. There should be a Hyrule. Yeah, MMO. but I mean one that's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've heard Elder Scrolls there. Online is actually really good. Like I, I've, I've, I've heard they they've improved it. I, maybe they've improved, but I've got a friend that was really oh, your friend watching other than us? Yes. Oh, I mean, there's snow. Weird. Well, that's true! <laughs> snow is a friend. I thought... Well, it's because I always imagine snow just being dragged along, and snow's just like, why do I have to deal with these crazy kids? Snow's so eloquent. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, people everywhere that are watching this should also watch the LP that I'm doing with Snow for Star Control 2. Yeah. He's a good egg. It's a very good game. Yeah. I've yeah. heard Snow and Idran talk about it before. And also a couple of our other friends. I don't have it's other really friends. Fun. I don't know what you're talking mm. about. <laughs> well, who really needs friends when you've got the internet? <laughs> the internet is my friend. Joke's on you. <laughs> Everyone wired into the internet is my friend now. If you're watching this that, LP, you're my friend. I think that's the subject of about a dozen different technological horror movies. <laughs> oh well! The internet is my friend. The internet would never hurt me. We're all in the Matrix now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. That, that went badly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Took a second to see it happen, but it was good. I was rewarded. So this is a good time to use for Rosalinda and show it off. I mean, I've shown it off before, but... And I think there isn't, like, a... There isn't... Like, you can only use it within, like, a hundred feet or something, because that, that just makes sense. It's the full dungeon, dungeon. Right? yep. Yeah. Yep, it's the entire dungeon. Hmm. Just, like, put a checkpoint here. Yep. Really? But if you always forget that it exists, then it's not too helpful, which often happens to me. Do you have all three of the stones to join, by the way? Nope. The third one you don't get until really near the end of the game. Okay, so do you want me to say it or not? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Nehru's love is so convenient. God, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Also, I think she's like... I think personally she's my favorite goddess. Mm hmm why Based on what I've seen of her in the manga. So out of curiosity, um, like what specifically was it? I I don't know. Um, okay, so I've kind of read Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and from what I remember of um, Ages, I think it was, um, I just, I really liked how she appeared in that one. Yeah. So, I need to actually read those. I'm pretty sure she's in it, and if not, oh, no, <laughs> sorry, she is. internet. There, yeah. Well, well, there, there, there is, there's someone named Nehru who seems to possibly be like her priestess like her or avatar or something. Or, yeah, her yeah. avatar. Yeah. Yeah. Each of the yeah, all three of them show up in the Oracle's game in that respect. Oracle's games, rather. Wasn't there supposed to be a third Oracle game? There was, but that ended up scrapped. Um, okay. because basically, uh, they didn't have the time to develop it. The, the Oracles games went through so much development weirdness, and I'll definitely get into those once we get to the games, but basically, they got completely redesigned from the ground up twice. Right. Dang. I think it'd be really cool if they had a game that focused on the mythology in Hyrule. Oh, definitely. But, like, we've grabbed about many times, Miyamoto doesn't care about story. Yeah, but, like, little by little, we're seeing more of, oh, yeah. like, um, the world yeah, development. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with Anuma, they've been doing a lot more of that. Which I'm, as I said before, I'm really glad to see. Yeah. Yeah. That one jump. Really glad I did this. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So useful. Yeah. It saves me editing time too. <laughs> Ugh, what? That's an example of the sensitive controls, by the way. Back at it again. It seems so easy the first time I did that jump. Back at at it least again. these lava slugs are here and they seem to always drop like a green potion. Yep. Which is nice. It makes things a little bit easier. Hmm. Enough for one free four hours wind. Yep. Redeem bot stores now. <laughs> Okay. Let's see if I can not screw up again. Alright, good. And this time I'm not going to hey, get boy. <laughs> huh, there's no Goron in that cage. Weird. That or he's hiding. Maybe. 
He's a shadow of his previous self. Oh, nope, that's a glitch. If you fall and you have to backtrack, the Goron that's in here just disappears. Well. Jesus. Well. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, well. Bye, Goron. He's just like, well, you saved me. Bye. Yep. Okay, so because I don't want to jump all the way back, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one last time. Back at it again. At the crusty crab? Exactly. Crispy cream. Speaking of, this is completely off topic, but did you hear about Dunkin' Donuts? No. No? They're thinking about changing their name to just Dunkin' because they want to be a beverage-led company. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they the way they are? Uh, because capitalism. It's just Dunkin' Donuts. Just live with your decisions. <laughs> Alright, so I need to get over to that locked door. So that is going to be what I need to do now. Hey Jumbo, you gotta tell them this. Tell them to live their decisions. Uh... There's no, there's no turning back now. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's on them to make that choice. Their beverages aren't even that good, except for it's like the juice <laughs> thingy they have. Roxy, careful, don't start a Twitter war with Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' no, Donuts is definitely only start good a Twitter for the Donuts. Do it. We, we need unpopular, the attention. Unpopular opinion. Hashtag Dunkin' Donuts forever. Hashtag no Dunkin'. You know, one thing I've always wondered, how is it a hashtag when you say it out loud? Hashtag, hashtag Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hashtag so as Navi, eat my donuts. As Navi said, was that another double entendre, by the way? I... <laughs> It came out, now it is, I guess. As Navi said, right now we're far, far above the room where we saw Darunia at the very start of the dungeon. We can just hop down there, right? Oh, well, there's a fence in the way. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be like, damn Daniel all over again. This is going to be stuck saying Dunkin' Donuts for the next... 15, 20 minutes. Do you ever open your if mouth we're lucky. and you just you just say the dumbest shit, but you just keep going with it because it makes you laugh? Sometimes. That's me right now. Anyway, we've got a nice fiery maze here. And hey, look, there's a door over there. Let's there's make our way Thomas. towards it. Let's look at this door that's jutting out from the wall like this. Are you sure it's a door or not? A secret passage to <laughs> Sorry, man, you started this. Well, you started it. No, you started it, Adrian. Dang. Some neat animation on that door. Dang, yeah. Daniel. Just Very wobble long. and slap. Boy, boy, boy. Dang, dang. Let's get it. When in doubt, blow it up. But yeah, this is one of my favorite rooms because um, I think it's a really neat interpretation of the watch where you're stepping kind of thing. Yeah. Can you jump over them? Nope. You just need to make your way through the maze and keep running into them. As I am skillfully showing off. You just gotta really take a slow path through it. And you also need to be careful about this thing. Dang, dang. Oh. Oh. oh no. What have I done? <laughs> I reminded them. Well, you, you know, I do control the audio editing for this, Roxy. No! <laughs> but then no one will understand! <laughs> They'll just be like, what the hell is Roxy? Why are you bleeping her out? She's cursing too much. Too furiously. So, we make our way around, and that lets us get to this locked door here. This one isn't fake. Alternately, every time someone, or even if just Roxy says, Dang, Daniel, you should put up a counter of how, how many times so far. <laughs> I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> oh. We could have had it all, Daniel. <laughs> rolling in the dungeon. Rolling, rolling in the dungeon. Oh, we're now on the far side of this fire maze room. Mm -hmm. 
I mm -hmm. did miss the Ooh. compass, but I'll go back for that after I finish this part. Get up. The switch. This firewall goes down, but we still need to get there. So let's get our path clear first. Figure out which way we want to go. Good noise. Good noise. Yeah. I love the sound design in Ocarina of Time. Plenty of time. Nice. Bombs. We're running quite low on arrows. Yep. So, all those slugs. I, I don't think you can pick up many arrows in this, unfortunately. Oops. Okay. See what I mentioned before about when you're not paying attention, they can get you? Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I always imagine it as like a thick slab of like, um, like a, do you know, like fruit by the foot? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Excellent. Yeah, just the way it wiggles. Like, just like, oh, damn it. I'm a fruit by the foot. Whoop. And here we have Flare Dancer. I Ooh. love them. <laughs> Extinguish its flaming clothes first. Yep. It looks so cool. It's a fire <laughs> Please observe your fire exits. In the but yeah, this is super cool. I would yeah. really like to see like a modern interpretation in like the more recent Zelda styles of this. this oh, definitely. So you hit it, that knocks it out of its clothing, and it's this little guy. Oh, oh, neat. <laughs> Adorable little thing. Super cute. After a bit Does of it time, relight? It back into the fire to replenish itself. It doesn't just relight, it does it with style. Mm. It does. Ooh, different color. It's blue, that means it's uh, partially unburned. <laughs> if I remember my Bunsen burners right. <laughs> oh, if anyone would remember the Bunsen burners right, it'd be you. <laughs> oh, Bunsen burners. Didn't mean to do that. I thought I'd get burned. Guess not. Huh. Okay. So. Whenever it's wearing the clothes, does that become its head or like its torso? Because I thought it was its torso, but... Uh, I imagine it's like a mech suit situation. Hmm. Gotta be careful about those loose fires that it sets on the ground in advance. And you also gotta be careful not to run into this platform so you don't constantly climb on it and then fail to be able to get off. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Well, we had a very good view of him, uh, them regenerating there, though. Yep. That was very nice. Normally would have been done by then, but I missed a few hits in the previous phases. And now it's into third mode. What color is it now? Green. So what does green mean for Bunsen burners? Uh, you're... That you're burning something you're not meant. You're not ah. supposed to. <laughs> or generally that you have copper in the flames, I think. Can't remember exactly the flame colors. Copper sounds right. Hmm. And of course, because it's a fire creature, it blows up when you kill it. And you want to make sure to do what I didn't do there and get out of the way. 
Fires down, and now when we get onto this platform, we get another elevator. We. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's barium gives you a pale green, copper gives you a sort of green blue color. Uh, that one would be closer to like barium. Nice. And because uh, that's what potassium. we did. <laughs> And then potassium gives a lilac color. It's really nice. I like the look of potassium fire. Mm. It is real nice. Yeah. So this is one where you do have to use bombs. You don't really... Well, maybe if you angled yourself right, you can use a hook shot. But same basic idea as a pass puzzle. Mm. Very quick timer. Yep. Yeah. 